scoreboard you see right there is the scoreboard to legendary Wrigley Field. Mm -hmm. We are a block across the street from it at a place where we're gonna go for your second chicken tender locale today. Just opened one of the nation's most famous chicken tender locales it is. Raising Cane's. This is the first time I have ever seen a chicken tender restaurant with its own disco balls. Crazy. This is historic Wrigley Field. This is the second time we have done chicken and curds outside of a historic stadium. The other being, of course, Lambeau Field, which is ten times better. <laughs> let's, no, I'm, not let's, gonna, I'm not going to rip I, Wrigley I, Field. I, I'm not going to rip Wrigley either, but we, we have Cubs, Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Cubs, uh, Brewers. Yeah, like Miller Park is like Brewers, Cubs. I, I can't knock this place. One of our, my favorite memories on our road trips was taking you when you were three and a half or four and a half years old, I forget which, and we went to Wrigley. We sat maybe a hundred yards from here for a Monday night game, and, and who I'll, won that game? The Bruce, and I'll never forget game 163, and I was so excited that entire day. My teacher was giving me score updates during the game, and then at the end, like all the teachers were just going crazy outside <laughs> and it was in just hearing the euchre call it was nuts when the brewers clinch mm -hmm. the 2018 national league central division championship yep. by winning an extra game against the cubs mm -hmm. it is unboxing time Ooh, Not just tenders, but we're talking Texas toast oh. and mm, Texas toast is oversized it's, thick toast. It's buttery and it has seeds on it. Oh yes. I mean, not all Texas toast has seeds on it, but all of it typically is very thick, often mm, buttery. That's good. I don't see ketchup. There's plenty of ketchup, buddy. Oh, it's hidden ketchup. Ha <laughs> Told you. We have the, our reserve. <laughs> the reserve ketchup. We have the Jordan Love of ketchup. And then this is Aaron Rodgers and Tim Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> now a Detroit line, by the way. Well, who cares? <laughs> He's All not right. going to do anything with them. All right, Here first tender. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm, hope so. Soft, crunchy. Which is not a usual combination. Hmm. So you're seeing a combination of soft texture, but also the crunch of the breading. How heavy is the bread? Not very. Okay. But it's high crunch off a little breading. Mm -hmm. And that's hard to do. For most people, this kind of tender is a really good tender. And for the companies it is, because some people, like my daddy, like the more soft breading. But people like me like more crunch and heavier breading. So when you can mix those, it really works. Time for my first ever chicken tender in Wrigleyville. He nails it. There's not much necessarily in terms of the breading itself, but what's there is very crunchy. The tender, has a decent taste to it. It's not jumping out at me like the place we went to earlier today, but it's pretty good. It's certainly pretty good. I'd say the national chains that I've had for chicken tenders, it's probably as good as you can get. You're saying it's better than Culver's. You know what? I neglected that and I profusely apologize <laughs> over the din of a Harley Davidson or whatever my uh, motorbike that was. He's just taking a very small dip of the sauce itself, the Raisin Cane sauce, 
Seems like he wants a little more. What do you think? It's not spicy. Hmm. Is it sweet? I don't know. It tastes kind of weird. It's not. It's not something that you would think would normally go on a chicken tender. That's hmm. what I would say. So as to maximize the kids' chicken experience, I am going to test the raisin cane sauce with fries instead. Raisin cane sauce tastes a little bit like if ranch and ketchup had a baby. It's that mix of the tartness and sweetness of ketchup along with the savory and creaminess of ranch. There's an eensy bit of sweetness to it, not necessarily a huge amount. Again, a good sauce to use if you want something different from ketchup, but it's got a little bit of reminiscent flavor of ketchup as well. I've got an idea. Okay. What does a Texas toast tender taste like? Huh? Oh, you already set it up. Thank you. I didn't touch it. You already had it. <laughs> no. Not there? Too much of something? Yeah. have tried out Chicago's favorite chicken yes. tenders. We have tried out America's favorite. Which were your favorite? I have to go with Raising Cane's coming okay. through with the win and with a nice 75 overall. 75. What made it that? Why wasn't it higher? It was plenty of crunch. There's plenty of crunch there and it wasn't spicy at all. Chicago, you've given us your best chicken. Yes. Thank you so much for a fantastic city that you are. How should people get more of our content as we tour the nation for America's best chicken tenders and cheese curds? You gotta like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding. And you only need a Gmail account to do it. Mm -hmm. So it's that simple. Just do it and also just go to all the places where you can. If you need a cheese curd or chicken tender tour, keep watching the series. Go to the playlist section, you will find our entire series, all of our series, and all of our sources. From Wrigley Field in Chicago, you're Anthony, I'm Daddy, can you Bob Euchre thighs out? Well, folks, the finest, the Milwaukee Brewers, the finest, and the Yadel Central. So long from Wrigley Field in Chicago, where in a couple of months the Brewers are gonna be Beating the Cups.